Good morning, everybody. It is currently Tuesday morning, and so happy to see you. We are talking to you from Calgary right now, and we just moved here one week ago today, actually. So we're really happy to be here in Calgary, Alberta, and my family and I have moved out here. Um, so it's very exciting. Um, we're connecting with the higher elevation energy, um, and we're also looking out onto beautiful Calgary City right now. Um, Right in front of me um, is Calgary City, and we're so happy to be here. So thank you for um, having us. Um, today we're going to talk about spiritual alignment, and um, spiritual alignment is is really crucial right now with the acceleration um, of the energies that are happening right now around the globe. And um, it's important that you spend some time and make some time. Um, to have that quiet time within your daily life. I know it's, um, it's sometimes it's difficult, um, especially if you have children. Um, I have three kids myself, and they're all under the age of eight, and they all have activities, and um, my husband works full-time, and I um, also work as well um, with the internet business. So um, it's really important that we all carve out some time for ourselves, um, as well as the children, too. Um, you'll see that with the Star Seed Academy, we have... Coming up, we have um, classes to help engage the children into um, connecting more with their spiritual selves, um, and that is spending quiet time um, with their passions, uh, whether it be building or drawing or painting or writing. Um, it's important that um, we encourage them to have that private space with their spirit and their soul as it speaks to them. Um, so it's good to encourage that as well. Um, in our family, we spend um, quiet time every day, um, and it doesn't have to be anything structured, um, but we do have um, set time that, um, especially when they come home from school and I allow them to decompress, um, they can play with whatever toys they want, but it needs to be quiet um, uh, so that they can have that time to just unwind and um, um, kind of reflect on what's happened in their day. Um, and then we have, we know, some discussions as well. So it, it allows them that space to um, process everything, but also allow us that communication time um, so that we can ensure that we're all on um, open communication lines, especially with it being so busy now. Um, it's always good to keep that in mind. And if you have your um, spiritual alignment time, it allows you to also process things that are happening within your, your family. And as you begin to expand and ascend, You'll find different things happening for you, the physical changes that are happening um, within your body. Um, you'll notice um, possibly ringing in your ears, um, shifting in the things that you see. Um, I've noticed lately a lot of things that um, I'm seeing if I take my, if I do a third eye focus, um, I'm seeing things that I never used to see before, um, energetic patterns and so forth. So it's pretty exciting. Um, so as you see yourself ascend and go through those um, energy changes, allow yourself that time to absorb and reflect um, and, and bring yourself down um, to a balanced state so that you can um, continue to expand and grow and take on the additional energy that's coming in. Um, so um, we've had some emails this week about um, difficulty focusing, and that's common when you're starting your meditation practice. Um, and focusing, um, when I first started meditation, I was very... Um, um, I, I guess I was a little bit nervous because um, I always thought you had to do it a certain way and, and didn't know if I was doing it wrong or right or um, wasn't following a certain practice. But um, when you're just starting out with meditation, it's very important that you feel relaxed and you take it easy on yourself. Um, don't try to live up to anybody else's meditation standards. So um, um, I always, it, it's really good if you have a space where you can um, have that quiet time set aside just for you, um, especially if you're a mom. Um, and ensure that you have a quiet space with nice relaxing music and um, build yourself a little altar um, have yourself a little table that's set aside if there's a particular um, area of the house that you feel great in um, or positive um, the energy that means a lot to you um, cleanse the space with some sage um, and then have your um, your things like a medicine wheel items that you feel connected with um, spiritually um, and then place them around you. Um, that's what I do. And it allows me to help feed that energy that makes me feel good. Um, and the symbolic meaning of things that you connect with as well are also very important. And don't try too much to do it any certain way. 
Um, listen to your intuition, and your intuition will guide you. But the biggest thing is, is um, slowing the breath, focusing on the breath, um, and bringing that focus back to breath, um, that, that breathing state of oneness and calmness. Um, and then you'll be able to move forward um, with what feels right for you if you're focusing on inward um, as opposed to checking off the checklist of what you're supposed to do in meditation. Um, so um, the focus is, is important only to breath and then allow your intuition and your creativity um, to guide you. Um, as soon as you're at that balanced and relaxed state then the creative juices will start to flow and then you, the communications um, will also start to flow. So you'll see, um, you may get symbols and so forth um, of your guides and stuff coming through. So um, that's when you allow that to flow when you're in that relaxed state and there's no thinking and um, you've allowed that, that downtime um, to happen. And that's when you'll find the communications start to open up as well. Um, so it's okay to have that little checklist to begin with. But um, you know, don't don't be steadfast with it, and allow yourself the flexibility and creativity to allow your creative mind to flow when you're in meditation. Um, I find too that meditation is a great chance to allow the creative juices to flow and allow you the inspirations to come through from your higher mind and your guides. Um, and as it's all filtering down, and you have that ease of, of flow and fluidity with the energy, um, so you'll get used to it. Um, so don't be too hard on yourself. And if anybody ever wants to connect with me uh, with regards to meditation or anything, just feel free to email me. I'm always available. Um, uh, I've always made myself available um, for questions because I remember how it was when I was first starting out and how I was just so much so eager to get all the information that I could. Um, and there was very few people that were doing it um, that were offering free advice. Um, so I'm always available um, for assistance um, when you're starting out with your expansion. You can reach me through, um, my website is theascensio.com, and Ascensio is uh, Latin for Ascension, and uh, my passion is um, the communication and education and knowledge about um, expanding mind thought, um, expanding beliefs and ideas, um, coming from a past of darkness um, in my, my life, um, um, I've gone through many, many challenges, and come from, from uh, what I would call great darkness. Um, and into a path now where I'm so passionate and excited about teaching and coaching um, that I finally found, I finally feel, and I finally found my, my niche and where I fit and where I feel um, truly balanced and harmonious. Um, so that's my passion is to teach people and to coach. And we have wonderful wisdom teachers that come um, through us to teach online as well and we do webcast um, segments just like you're seeing here and the teacher would be in front of you on a computer screen and the teacher would be with you one-on-one -on -one, um, for a period of anywhere from two to three hours um, or just one hour coaching sessions if you wish um, and um, they teach anything from karmic astrology to um, psychic development and channeling um, better communication with your guides, um, dream workshops there's a lot of things that we have going on and then we start our Starseed Academy in January with the kids and my kids will be involved obviously because um, it's what I do and they're around it all the time and we're going to start with crystal bowls and um, just beginning um, introduction courses on energy, what is energy and how the parents and the kids can work together on um, um, understanding intuitiveness um, and allowing the kids to be free and expressive with that um, and listening to their gut feelings and you know I know that our, I can't even tell you the number of situations I could have um, turned myself from and navigated a bit smoother if I had used my intuition a little bit more and not talked myself out of what my intuition, my gut was telling me. So um, that's what our focus is, is to allow the children that creative play with spirit and the creative play with intuition um, because they're so innately intuitive as it is. And we're just allowing them that freedom to be more of who they truly are, um, which is what we teach um, in a sense, you know, um, so you can connect with me, um, Joanna, at eessentio, um, and that's E is for online, and essentio is Latin for ascension, and um, you can see um, um, the links will be attached to the video, and we also have our Facebook page, which is essentio at Facebook, and then there's a WordPress um, dot essentio, eessentio as well.
and we've got lots of social hubs going and I do a radio show once a week and we're going to have our special guests on there that will connect with um, kind of what we're doing and will allow everybody um, a chance to kind of see and, and understand what they do and what they teach because a lot of people aren't really sure about what karmic astrology is so you'll be able to come out and hear about that as well which is really exciting because um, these teachers are very important to me they've I do a lot of research as to who the teachers are and, and how um, they've moved me and other students um, that we've been dealing with. I've been doing these classes for about two years now um, and we've just launched to do them online. And um, we have anywhere from small groups from four or five people up to about 15 or 19 or 20 people. So, um, you know, it's really wonderful that we can we can allow people the freedom to take these classes from home. And if you're like me when you're starting out in your spiritual path, you want as much as you can take and whenever you can take it. So um, when we do the online course, it's a little bit easier for people to stay connected and knowing that you can you can take a course and be with us and have that inspirational um, um, encouragement whenever you need it um, because, you know, we all need to touch base and surround ourselves with what uh, makes us feel better. Um, and I've always said that, uh, you know, the more you can surround yourself with the things that allow you that that... Um, that energy flow, you know, that same energy flow, and you'll notice that people will start to drop off and fall away that um, aren't matching your vibration of energy, and that's okay, they'll come back around, um, and they may not, um, but life is always cyclical, and um, things will always come and go based on the ebbs and flow of life and energy, um, because life, everything is energy, um, so the more we start to think of ourselves as energy beings, and our children as well, um, then you understand more and you don't um, carry around the, the, the baggage of loss and damage um, that holds us back in a dark world. You are easier to let things go and flow because you know that there's a reason for everything and it's for your highest and your best. And everything that you're taking in is uh, a learning experience, an opportunity for your soul to grow and expand um, because that's why we're here. Um, you know, the planet Earth is a place for us to expand and, and grow. Um, so I believe that there's 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 many opportunities for a soul that we have right now in parallel realities and and other dimensions, and we're also going to be talking about that. That's kind of one of my passions um, online is to connect with um, our other realities and dimensions. So it's pretty exciting when you can think about my soul is living in this life right here, this physical life, but where else is my soul? I have an, I have parts of souls all over the place and they can come and connect um, to allow us to download and tap into information that we might need at that time um, so that's pretty exciting um, and we consider it as past life but we're looking at it linearly and, and spirit doesn't have a linear um, conception spirit is everywhere all at once um, and when you have many lives all at once um, you can tap into that information from those lives um, you know, for instance, I had a download when I started um, my my really serious passion about finding more about um, my past lives. I call it past lives, but it's it's really all um, here and now. I had a download in one of my meditations one day about a life that I'd had in um, Manoa or Egypt. I was assuming it was Egypt because I was looking out of... Um, you know, big stone structures that looked like pyramids. Um, and I was um, in communication with the, the people in the community that I was um, felt so much love for and so much um, passion for as far as assisting them um, and helping them. So, um, and the download came within a split second. And I had downloaded all of this information um, from my guides that were assisting with that download as well. So that's how spirit information comes. It comes so quick. And there's so much information in that small segment of time that that's how you know that it's from your guides and from higher realms is because the information is coming so quick and it's so full of impact um, that our physical mind can't possibly conjure that in that great of speed. So um, that's when you allow yourself, your physical mind, to step step over and allow the information to come through and funnel through you. And that's when you can use that information to piece together how you feel and why you feel what you feel. Um, and then having the special teachers along your side, like Marguerite Manning and Sandy Anastasi. Um, you know, they've been wonderful, wonderful teachers. And Elizabeth Harper, we've got coming joining us in January. I mean, all of these teachers are just so wonderful and they're so dear to my heart. Um, that um, I'm just blessed to have them with us, and I'm very grateful for their gifts. Um, but um, we hope that you'll join us and connect with us on our classes. 
and we'll be talking just like we are here um, and then we'll be having a certain topic for let's say the dream workshop or with Margaret Manning Margaret Manning it's with um, the karmic astrology so she goes over kind of past life issues and, and what your soul has come back in this life for um, again we're talking linearly but that's just what everybody is, is used to hearing so we'll stay with that um, and she allows the full chart reading and when she goes through a full reading with you um, she does so many calculations and it takes her so long to do one chart reading um, that's quite amazing and how accurate um, she is and the details that she comes up with is just stunning um, and so she's a very dear friend of mine and I love her a bit um, and she makes the class so much fun um, she has so much energy so if anybody is looking for that kind of past life stuff um, and finding out the stars and the alignment of all the planets and where the very moment that they were born, um, then please sign on to one of her classes. I'll be on every class of hers. Um, and then her and I are going to do a collaboration, um, you know, um, with energy reading and so forth. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited. And if you can um, check out our blog talk radio, it's called... Um, Ascension Radio, um, eascentio.com, and any of my links, um, I always try and link everything together, so any of my links will have the Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, and we're going to start to have some YouTube videos, so I'm very thankful and grateful for everybody who's connecting with me, and um, if you do have those um, intuitive nudges within you as you're watching certain videos and certain topics, um, I've given you just a quick rundown of what Eascentio is about, the kind of classes that we'll be doing, and um, better spiritual alignment and meditation. Um, then those are the ones that um, you can feel free to read, review over and over again, um, because those are the ones that will assist you in taking that next path, and will assist you on the next step, on what's next. Um, so. I know in my library I have hundreds of audios and um, depending on where I'm at um, in, in my stage or my phase of my journey, I'll go back to certain ones and I'll re-listen to them even though I've listened to them a hundred times, I'll still go back and I'll listen to them because they peak something in me and each time it's something different, um, something that you might have missed before or now that it makes sense to you because you're going through that instance right now and then it can remind you of um, things to watch for and pay attention to and clue into. Um, especially when there's so much that's distracting us out there. Um, we need time to really center and come within again and remember to listen to spirit. Um, and sometimes we do need that reminder. And especially um, when you're having that meditation time and you're allowing your, yourself that, um, that alignment time, it'll be easier for you and more fluid um, and more easier to flow for you um, if you do remember that time in your day, every day. Um, Pick a time when you're not so sleepy, because sometimes meditation can make you fall asleep, which is fine. Um, but um, I usually do my meditations in the morning, early in the morning, and um, that way my body knows I'm up. And it's always good to, to, go to, to do it at um, a specific time in the day, so the same time if you can. Um, that allows your body to get into the habit of knowing when to switch off and relax into spirit mode. Um, so because we're humans, we're always used to habit, and our, that's how our body functions. So it's nice to also do that as well and get yourself into a new habit of realigning with yourself. And then you'll see that you'll be looking forward to those times. So connect with us, please, on Facebook and um, Blog Talk Radio. We have a show there. Um, my next show is on Thursday night. And I think we'll be talking about consciousness, which is pretty exciting because that's about everything we're talking about and how to expand your mind and your thoughts and your beliefs patterns um, and to be uh, a more positive manifester and a more in intention related manifester instead of just flowing with life and allowing life to take over for you, having you live with more conviction and um, intend your life and have conviction and walk with who you are in pride and knowing that this is who I am and this is who I choose to be um, and this is my path I choose to walk on. Um, so it can be very empowering and very powerful when you know that and you can write these things down and, and take ownership of them and take start taking action on them. Um, the, mo the reason why most people don't change is because it takes action and it requires action and commitment and that's the reason why a lot of people don't change. It takes a little bit of effort. Um, sometimes it's not a lot, sometimes it is just a little, um, but it's a little effort that you need to do every day um, and that's why most people don't change um, and that's okay. That's not a judgment call. Um, if you are someone that wants to change and you are someone that wants that deeper meaning and that commitment that's and that connection, then that's the time where um, you know it's ready for you to make sure that you're ready. Um, 
And to do that, you need to practice and commit yourself to it. Um, otherwise, you won't change. Um, and that's okay, too. Um, so anyways, check us out. I would love for you to connect with us. Um, again, it's Joanna at eascencio.com, and that's a um, little e, uh, uppercase A, A-S-C-E-N-S-I-O, <laughs> eascencio.com. And this is my very first video that I'm doing, so I'm happy that you stayed throughout this whole 20 minutes. Um, and uh, they will get better, I promise you. Um, we're in the midst of moving right now, so um, everything, I will have an office set up, um, and everything will be um, much more um, in my vibration. I'll have all my little crystals and um, my candles and so forth, so um, we're going to be doing lots of great, wonderful things. We'll be doing, um, you know, we're working with cards, different types of tarot decks, um, and channeling information and um, psychic development, all that fun stuff that allows you to connect with who you are as a spirit. And then we're also going to be talking about all the mind-expanding topics that I just love and um, connecting with our teachers as well for interviews so that you will have an understanding of what they're about and, and what they're going to be offering us um, for our school. So I'm so happy that you've connected with us today. And please check us out. Um, I'm out usually on Facebook every day, um, eascencio.com, and then on um, our website is http slash slash .com. so there's no www thing. Um, yeah, so for those of you who've um, connected with me on Facebook, this is who I am, I'm Joanna, and I'm so happy to meet with you and connect with you in this lifetime, and um, I'm blessed and grateful um, that you're here. So I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope you intend um, all the glorious things that you deserve. Um, because we are powerful creators and we deserve um, an enlightened life um, full of love and light. And that's what I'm so excited about. Oh, yes, and we do have a sacred site tour that we've just booked um, in October of 2014. Um, from the 15th to the 19th, uh, we're going to add on an extra day to go to the Grand Canyon for those who desire. But we're going to go to the powerful energy vortex of Sedona. And that's one of my very... Um, favorite places. Um, it will be my first Sedona trip and what a way to, to kind of um, embark on this wonderful journey is to start in Sedona and it's a powerful energy vortex. We're going to be doing meditations and um, lots of uh, rituals um, and very in-depth um, spiritual work so we're really happy we're going to be doing um, with my, my good friend Andrea who has been doing this for 15 years, Sacred Sight Tours, and um, she's agreed to help us out a couple times a year. She's going to be doing some tours and, and trips with us to sacred spots and um, allowing our spirits to absorb and connect and get really connected with the land and the planet and the earth and in those sacred spots and the energies. So we're super excited about that, so please keep posted. I think we'll post the information um, the end of next week, we'll have hopefully have the information up on the website so you can start saving. Um, and it gives you lots of time to kind of plan things with kids and family and so forth if you have things you need to take care of. So, um, yeah, we're just got lots, lots going on and lots of things planned. So please stay tuned and connect with us um, because we can't do this without you. So um, your energy means a lot to, to kind of be flowing back and forth. And we require that energy to flow back and forth for us to continue to do that um, um, because energy is all about flowing. So the more you send me as far as emails and ideas and information, then the more that I can put that energy back out again. Um, and I'm always here to help. So anybody that needs an email um, or anything like that for inspiration or encouragement, please forward it through and I'll be more than happy to help you um, realign yourself or get back on track. Um, so, so happy to meet you. And um, I'm blessed again for you to be here with us today as well. And I hope you have a great day and a great week. We're signing off now from October 1st, um, 2013. And we are ready to jump off this wonderful, wonderful journey that we're about to embark on. And we're all doing it together. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day. And um, we'll probably be back again with another video next week. Thanks so much and stay tuned. Signing off, Joanna from eessencio.com. Blessings.